welcome back to a new vlog wow what a beautiful day here in the uk today there is not one single cloud in the sky yet it has been quite a morning for me i had my usual coffee breakfast i watered my plants and seedlings what you did not see is a huge pile of laundry that had to be done and this carnage here currently in our kitchen we are in desperate need of going to the tip this weekend it is all because of some of the planting and gardening furniture that we ordered as well as the furniture pieces that are slowly but surely arriving one being these four beautiful bar stools i think shopping for bar stools was so daunting and we came across this set i think they're called the bell bar stools from atlantic shopping and originally we wanted a black bar stool however it was being discontinued so we opt for the next best thing which is the same shape but in a gray velvet which i think actually works out better because it kind of brings out the veining of our countertop as well as ties in with the whole kitchen island anyways i do have a few more unboxings of furniture arriving well actually only one i think or new pieces that i want to show you guys so let me bring you to the living room so i think this is our bedside table we ordered two obviously as a pair but it looks like there's only one here the company that we ordered from is called numa and they are based in poland so that means we actually had to pay that to vat um, upon arriving to the uk that's something that is written in the website but i wasn't aware of but we really wanted like a round cylinder bedside table it didn't have drawers which is fine because supposedly our bed has like drawers so this is the bedside table quite cute it worked well being like a side table as well it has a wooden top it's very really cute oh, it's metal okay so we have one i'm gonna place it on my side perhaps but yeah we'll see it's actually quite nice so this is the company that i've been looking at they make like sofas beds sofa beds of course and they have a huge variety to choose from they're not the cheapest but i think in my opinion i don't think brian will agree i think it's important to invest in a good sofa bed just because i think that's the very few things that can make you a good host and especially with lockdown slowly relaxing soon i'm really looking forward to having my brother over you know to stay for like a week or more so i think having a good one or invest in a higher price one is worth it in the long run so this is the sofa bed that we're looking into this is called the sophie sofa bed i love how relaxing and comfortable it looks unfortunately it's not something that we can try but it looks comfy material wise because it's going to be in a relatively small room i don't think a dark color will help with the space so i've been looking into linens and different textures the thing about their materials is it can range from a very vast price point so i do have to check back on the website and see what materials and color tones work for us i don't think this grayish green color or the pink will really work but yeah i'm gonna have a play around with it and see if we can decide on something so the place in order soon because again this is going to take about eight to ten weeks to make apparently so these are the four swatches or materials that i like thankfully it is not the more expensive options ideally i'd love to have a white couch i just think it looks very inviting relaxing and calming however we do have two black cats one ginger and one marble so technically that's not the most practical so i think we might opt for this color which is quite similar to the couch we have for the living room but the idea is to have the couch sitting under the window seal and I've ordered a shoe shelf behind the door which is supposed to arrive today but I don't know if that's going to happen and my working station to be right here and when we do have guests over we'll move the couch 
to here. As you can see, I've already planned the sockets accordingly. So it's convenient for couples, for my parents or whatnot. But yeah, I'm going to talk to Brian about this and see if I can come up with a conclusion. Hopefully we can place a order before the end of April because I think they're having like a 10% off site wide, which can be quite a good saving. <laughs> Good morning guys and hi Biscoff. <laughs> Happy weekend. Today is Friday. I just got some work done in the morning but a lot of exciting deliveries are finally arriving. I've been meaning to show you guys for the past few days or in the past vlog even. These are the shelves that we are planning to organize our shoes in. We've also got some exciting packages. But yeah, I'm planning to unbox these and have these set up right away. So I'm going to fill my water bottle and unbox with you guys. I'm so sorry, my cats are fighting, playing, so they might be a little bit noisy. But we came across this brand way earlier on before we even considered a shelf for this room. I'm currently in the spare room now where we're getting a sofa bed and this desk etc for this room. So this is going to be my office space and if there's guests coming over, this is where they will be staying. But behind the door, I don't know if you can see, there's always this space right there where it is not super deep, but you know, it is still a space. A lot of times when I'm researching for shoe storage, they're not the most flattering features to have in the room, in my opinion. So when I came across this brand, the whole idea is you can customize to a certain extent of how tall, how deep, how wide you want it, what kind of finishing that you want, etc. And so we decided to have this for our shoe shelf so that it can still be nice and decorative in our spare room if the door is closed. When planning our shoe shelf or shelf in general, they have a app that you can use. So you just kind of input the dimensions, measured out our shoe boxes and the height style would like it. And on their app, they have a AR. So you can place it right there and kind of visualize how it will look in your room. So, I'm very determined to have this set up and organize the shoe shelf because that is the only mess that is in this room at the moment. So this is the shelf design that I went for. Actually, their manual is also custom to the design, like my design. So as you can see, even like this drawing is right here, which is quite impressive. It does seem like you need two person to do it. But you know me. <laughs> Guys, I might be a little bit too ambitious. Um, I'm definitely going to have to resort to the help of Brian. It's pretty straightforward to put it together, but it's so hard to click it in. Supposedly, you just find like the correct piece, match orange and black, and then put it in, slide it down. You're supposed to do it like this way. No matter how hard I push it, like these ones I have to hammer pretty hard and these ones I hammered quite a bit and it's still not going down so I get Brian's help during the weekend I've definitely opened a Pandora box 
This room is a mess with all the boxes. Well, at least it looks promising. It's just going to fit behind this space and the sofa bed is going to be there. So hopefully we can get this building this weekend. I'm just going to shut the door behind me and pretend that this room doesn't exist at the moment. Changed of clothes after. I'm going to attempt building the shelves again because I hate feeling like I can't do it. And sometimes, honestly, if I can't do it, Brian can't do it either. So I have to figure it out. I'm going to turn on some music and hopefully I can get the shelf done or halfway done. I don't know, we'll see. I just leveled the bottom so that it won't be moving around. Gosh, my room, my hands are so rough and dirty. <laughs> I'm so happy. But there's still doors and stickers to remove. I'm going to get Brian to help me screw it into the wall so that it's safe. Yeah, I, I think it looks pretty good even though, yes, it is behind the door and it is in our spare room. But another thing with the shelf is I can always move it into like the living room or if we do move, we can always, you know, it's presentable enough to act as a decorative bookshelf. Mm. Um, my hands are like shaking. <laughs> uh, so tired, sorry, my brother just texted me. Um, yeah, for this mess, I just don't want to like bother with it. But I'm going to peel off all the stickers and I think I'm going to install the doors as well. I did it! I'm so happy so that all of these rubbish can be cleared up in a bit and go with us to the tip tomorrow. I'm so excited this shelf is done. As you can see, it fits so beautifully behind this depth of space here. Um, of course, when you open the door all the way through, it might hit the doors, but I think it's a very small problem that we can just ignore. Otherwise, we have also opt for doors and also the back as well. Like all of these can be custom to your preference. Of course, um, it will then reflect on the price as well. We have these measured out so that it can fit like shoe boxes. I'm a little bit afraid that this hinge, I didn't take into account of the size, but that's fine. So for example, 
this box here can fit Brian's three boxes and I think one more perfectly well and on the side we can always put like a basket of cleaning products for shoes or whatnot all of these space can also face like decorative accessories on it but yeah before styling the bookshelf or shoe shelf now I'm going to clear up all of this anything that's paper going to recycling all the bubble wrap unfortunately will have to go to the bin but I'm just so happy that I managed to do it I was actually inboxing or DMing the Tyco or the, com like the company Instagram and I told them that it was actually really difficult to click into those little bits of nails and they got back to me and said actually try unscrewing the nails and it worked magically so I'm so thankful that I asked otherwise I would, it is honestly going to be such a struggle but anyway I'm going to clean up and hopefully be able to put all of these shoes items to this shelf here I know that it is not big enough but at least the more important or dressy shoes can be stored properly here hey guys it's actually a lot later now I am so tired too tired that I asked Brian to order pizza for me for us I'm not bothered to cook tonight but we have cleared all of the garbage recycling and I'm trying to organize this shoe shelf there are lots of like shoe care accessories right now but I actually don't know too much about shoe care um, this is obviously Brian's specialty that he nerds in so I'm going to discuss with him and see what's the best way to organize it but yeah I think I'm going to wrap up today's vlog I am exhausted but I still have so much to do I do have an appointment with someone who does blinds in our area like shutter blinds so I need to figure out which area we actually want blinds because as you can see on our kitchen although on a beautiful day it's super sunny and bright it does get like really shiny like the sun is in your face until like 8 o'clock at the night I'm not complaining but it would be nice to have some blind situation right here just because you know sunlight shining into the countertops and whatnot will not be the best in the long run um, I don't know it might discolor or not we just want to prevent that I have to finalize the sofa bed hopefully next week will be a more interesting vlog because it is Brian's birthday I have something planned that I still need to plan out in detail oh my gosh I also need to <laughs> order some food from Sainsbury because Sainsbury does the Califia oat milk but way cheaper than Tesco so I need to place an order from there anyways way too boring I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog I hope it is interesting it is just me excited about new furniture pieces arriving and I hope you guys have a beautiful weekend weekday wherever you're watching this and I shall see you guys in my next one take care guys bye